Okay, loves, welcome back to part three of a series that I just decided to start on my channel. If you are unfamiliar with part one and part two, I will have them linked down below for you and or I will have them linked in the cards above. So all you gotta do is click on the little video. But as I mentioned in my last video that I didn't get a chance to, the video was getting a little too long and I felt like I should just split it up. So that's what I did. Um, in this video, we are going to be recapping paycheck one for October and showing you all how I would fill out the actual side of the budget within the dollar notebook that we decided to do in the last video. Now, before we go any further, if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, giving my videos a chance. Hopefully by the end of this video, you decide to subscribe so that you can see all of the other things that I do over here on my budgeting channel. If you are not new, you're one of my other book goodies. Hey babies, do y'all like the consistency? Cause I am feeling it. Once I get back into my zone, I feel really, really good about it. And I'll be, I'm so sorry for leaving y'all the way that I be leaving y'all like on red. I be ghosting y'all and I'm so sorry for that. But I'm back. I got more time and I want to start taking better care of the time or taking more advantage of the time that I do have. So let's just get into this so that video is not extremely long because this process is super, super quick. One thing I will point out when I was closing out the last video in part two, I did notice that I went ahead and showed you all what I would do at the very end. So once we get there, if I don't mention it, it's because I mentioned it in the last video, but we will talk about this remaining balance specifically in this video. So let's just get into it. All right. So as we mentioned, we've already done the budgeting part. So if you missed that, make sure you click the video down below or right on the screen right now. We are not going to discuss that part. This time we're going to go over what we actually received. So now that the paycheck is over and the paycheck period is done, we're going to go through what we actually spent and where I honestly get this rollover amount from that you're going to see in the next, um, in like, you know, paycheck two of October. So as I mentioned previously, 1868.60 was my actual income that I re uh, received for the paycheck of paycheck one of October. So that's our actual income. Actual rollover is 30 and actual rollover for our paycheck was 122.35. A lot of this was, it's always usually the same as what I budget because of how I do my budget and or because of my, it's really because of my job. I am in active duty in the Air Force, and so this is my income for that. I also live in housing, so you will not see any type of like water, sewer, trash, etc. in any of my bills because I live in housing, so they take all the money out before I even get my paycheck. So that's why my paycheck looks the way it does. My house is already taken care of. What the hell was that, y'all? Hold on. One second. Okay, y'all, I know y'all heard that, right? I had to go investigate, baby. I had I, That was the first time Bella ever been in my kitchen. I said, Bella, come on. Let's go see what that was. I am so sorry, y'all. Because I didn't know what it was. My garage door was open. So, baby, I just went and closed it. I had to call my mama. I had to call my mama and my daddy. I had to call somebody. <laughs> okay. So now we finna go ahead and finish what we was doing. There was nothing out there, but I know y'all heard that. So I don't even know where I was. So my apologies if I was starting to talk about something and I dismissed it. Hey, what you doing? She done, she barking at a squirrel. I'm thinking somebody behind me cause I sit with my back facing the window. Baby, this video is, it's not going well. And we're only in the beginning. Okay, I'm just gonna move on. Miscellaneous girl, we had a whopping, ooh, 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 penny. We had a penny that we was rolling up, or that we received as an additional income. Baby, every penny counts, right? I mean, I think so, right? I believe so. So yeah, that's what we had. We had a penny rolling over. So for our total amount, we had 20, 20, 96. That is what we started the paycheck with, or that's what we ended the paycheck with for this specific income, 2020-96. I really hope y'all can see that and the light is not too bright, 
but I will bring y'all in a little bit closer. Um, so when we go to, I hate that this situation just happened because I feel like I was in the middle of talking about something very, not super important, but something. And I just don't remember what I was referring to. So we're just going to move on. My son's childcare was actually as budgeted with 139. This was as budgeted. Most of the time, my fixed expenses are accurate. They may be off by like a penny or two, but for the most part, they usually are very accurate. 9084 for the internet. I am going to put a dash here, and the reason being is this did not come out um, on time before I got my other paycheck. So before my income in my account, this had, hadn't came out yet. And so we're going to be rolling this 9084 over to the next paycheck. We're going to do the same thing with this wax pass. It's going to roll over to the next paycheck. This one did come out of the check. So we're going to put 2736. This one was also uh, taken out. And then this did not take be taken out as well. So we only had the five out of however many this is bills come out of this paycheck. So we got 139. 9282, 1338, 2736, and 3795. So we have a total of 31051 that we actually had come out of our paycheck uh, for this this uh paycheck. So we're gonna take that 31051, take it out of our original uh, amount which was 202096 that means we have a left we have a leftover balance of 171045 as of right now so we're going to move on so right now we're still good we still have we have not gone over budget next up this right here is usually always the same so this is technically still the 195 so we're going to take 195 and it's going to be 15 15.45. So we're going to keep that the same. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. Um, not necessarily, but with the cash envelopes, the way that I take that into account when I'm doing my cash envelopes is whatever money, obviously I am the type that rolls over certain cash envelopes. If I did not spend the money in the cash envelopes, I automatically send it towards savings. But I only roll over certain ones like my hair care envelope, my dog's envelope, no, blessings envelope, and yes, my dog if she has money left over. So those are the only ones that I typically will roll over to the next paycheck. Um, that way I don't have to keep stuffing it and restuffing it and everything. So I roll that over. So we started with 665 for this specific paycheck. We only spent 600. Well, I can't say only spent because we spent that's a lot. $615 is what we actually spent. Therefore, when we take from the 15, 15, 45, we have $900 and 45 cents left over 945. That's our leftover amount. So that means I did not spend fifty dollars of the six fifteen. So when you all see the next paycheck, you'll see that our rollover for cash envelopes was fifty dollars. After we do that, sinking funds usually never changes unless I added money to it. But for the most part, it's always the same. And so we took five ninety two from nine hundred forty five. We had a rollover amount or a you know leftover balance of $308.45. So this is our final, and I'm gonna make like a big box around it. This is our final dollar amount of what we had left over at the end of the paycheck. This includes the bills that we did not take, and that we did not spend, such as the internet. So when we go to our next paycheck, we need to remember 90.85, of that 308.45 needs to go towards that. Wax Pass is another amount and the Disney credit card is another one. Also, we need to keep in mind that the $50. So if we total all this up, it should add up to that. So we got 90.84 plus 135 plus 25 is 250.84. We had the leftover 760. 
and then we had the $50. But this is $308.44. And we also have to remember the penny that we did get at the end of the paycheck. So that totals up to $308.45. That is how we got this ending balance. So for our total income, we can do this again. 20, 20, 96. And we're, I like to do it the easy way. And so we really spent 17, 12, 51. Let me make sure that's right. It looks right though. And we had a leftover balance of 308.45. So we would have, we budgeted for $7.60 to be left over, but we actually ended with $308.45. And so that is how I close out my budget when I, if I was to use a notebook. I really, really hope that this helped all of you out or at least one person. I'm always big on, if it helps one person, I am okay with that. So I really hope that this was helpful for you to see that you don't have to use any expensive things to make a budget. It is super easy. It's very quick to do and it does not take a lot of time and money and effort to do it. Just start somewhere. I encourage everybody, I don't care if you make millions of dollars, do a budget. It is so much easier to see where your money is going than to wonder where it went. Everybody says this, a lot of people say it. It is just, it just makes it so much easier for you to be in control of your money. So this is how I would do it if I was in a budget or in a notebook. Next video, we are going to close out my budget with the actual budget book that I did. So that's going to be part four. That's going to be the end of the little series that I decided to just come up with out of the blue. Um, just to kind of get myself back out there and let y'all know I still budget when I am not recording. I do still budget. This is not a lifestyle for me. This is not a turn on the camera and record. This is act an actual lifestyle for me. And this is actually what I do every time when I do my budget. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to those that continue continue to watch me continue to support my channel and that are always there so thank you so much for watching and again if you all have any questions comments concerns anything leave them down below in the description box and i will see y'all in another video i love you love you love you and i will see you later bye